hello guys welcome back to crystal craft we are back with another painting video tutorial and in the video i will show you how to paint this so follow my steps and stay with me till the end so let's begin by taking a piece of cardboard this is a white cardboard and i will i will use this masking tape on it here you can see the masking tape isn't very thin and also not very thick and it's gonna cover all the four sides of my cardboard if you have canvas you can always go with the canvas too when you are done applying this masking tape on one side of the page or the cardboard or the canvas if you are using that the, then press your tapes really uh, firmly so that they will stick to the paper so that the paints don't get under the tapes and the border or the edges they will remain uh, white and without any kind of paint so in the next i will be sticking the tape horizontally in the center of the paper that will um, cut the paper in two sections on the upper section we're gonna draw the sky and the mountains and in the lower section we're gonna paint um the sea so i'm taking this blue um dark blue acrylic so um, these are my favorite acrylic colors they are they really blend very good i'm taking a few of it and now i will add it some water with it and then i'm gonna move my hand in only one direction from left to right to create blue sky just enjoy it um, apply very little pressure on your um, brush and move your hand lightly in the air and just press uh, your brush with the paper very lightly and just go with the flow in left to right direction I'm gonna zoom in a little so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Here you can see um, this kind of texture gives uh, a feeling of sky. So the tip here is to only move your hand in one direction and after this step I will blend the yellow color in it. and so you have to keep in mind that just blend the yellow color to in the same direction as you were moving your hands for the blue color as you can see i'm also moving my hand very lightly in left to right direction and i will blend it with the blue color the yellow paint is going into the blue color and just move your hands and blend it very lightly don't apply any pressure Here you can see the colors, the two colors are mixing. I have left some space beneath the yellow color for the mountains. I've taken a little blue and I'm mixing it with the yellow one. When these paints will dry, they will give a really beautiful cool look at the end. So now I'm taking this brush. Here you can see it's really soft. And it's also one of my most used brushes I've taken dark blue color and I will paint mountains here first I'm I've done this base for the mountains as you know it's kind of shadow so all the mountains will be really dark color and have a really dark shadow and because we are doing um, we're giving blue bluish shade to our sky so the shadow the shadow of the mountains the color of the shadow of the mountains is also going to be dark navy blue if you want to paint your sky of the dark purple color if you want your sky to give um purplish shade you can um paint your mountains in dark plum purple color too you can always mix the purple and black color to make a really dark plum color so here you can see the mountains are a little uh, more thicker and darker and textury in front of the sky <clears throat> you see the gradient the color gradient of the sky the blue mixing with the yellow and the mountains on the front they're giving a really beautiful look Move your hand slowly and draw the mountains 
the mountains should look like a mountain so they are rough and without any specific shape now i will remove my masking tape from beneath the mountains Here you can see <clears throat> this separation created a very fine straight line for the sea now i've taken this yellow color actually it is the sea but the yellow shade from the sunset from behind the mountain is giving a kind of you know shadow on the sea and the sea is also um, a reflecting yellow shade after that we're gonna mix it with the white the white poster or white acrylic i'm taking a very little of it and i will mix it with the yellow color so that my yellow color will be of the lighter shade the yellow on the sea should be lighter in shade than the sky. Now I've taken this light blue, the sky blue color. And it's the sea, so it's gonna mix with the yellow shade. So the rest of the video will be in the part 2. So stay with me, follow my steps and check out the second part to find out the results. Thank you for watching.